Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about how you can utilize some of the CSS techniques such as media queries, pseudo elements and positioning to make a responsive admin and dashboard menu layout. Just wanted to mention that the reason why I haven't made a tutorial last week is that I've been working on a website to better provide you guys with a cool tips and tutorials in web and development uh, and unfortunately the hosting company that uh, provided me this hosting does not provide the PHP mail SMTP and uh, the reason why I wanted to, to have that is I wanted to make a, re a newsletter where you, you guys can subscribe and get notified for the new tutorials uh, that I make. Uh, just let me show you the website it's called kothus.com uh, just bring it out uh, you can see that you know, I have already added a bunch of tutorials, including the one that I'm going to show you how to uh, create it. And, uh, you know, it's good to be notified every now and then with the tutorials that I add here. But unfortunately, uh, I don't have the newsletter at the moment. So please go ahead and like over here uh, so that you get notified. And uh, the good thing about this is that apart from the videos, you can have text. If you uh, are not really into, uh, you know, the video tutorials, you can you can see the and read the text, and then you can download the source code. You can demo, you can see the demo of it. And all right, so again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. So the idea is that we have this site navigation. And if you re resize the page, you can see that the elements in the page resize, especially this guy. You can see that we are in the tablet view right now, and the view has changed uh, to best accommodate the size that you have. And also, if you go to the mobile version and resize it to the mobile version, you can see that you have the navigation over here. So if I resize again, you can see that the menu changes, and that is pretty cool. All right, so I have already added the, uh, let me just close this guy. I have already added the markup and also uh, something called Font Awesome, which is a icon library, web library for these icons over here. And also I added jQuery for the, uh, you know, the trigger that you click on the mobile version and you see the view. To go over the markup, we have a header element here that contains the uh, A, that is of a class nav trigger and contains a spam for the for the trigger over here on mobile version. Then we have our side navigation, which contains a nav and an unordered list, having four uh, LIs. Each one has uh, A, and each A has the icon, which is including uh, included in the spam and also the label itself. And then I have my main content over here, which looks like this. Now let's change it. I'll start with the header. So for the header, I would say position absolute. I would give it a height of 44 pixels. And then I want to make sure since I position it absolute, I need to define the width as well, which is 100%. And would like to give it a background color of maybe, I don't know, like 999. So you can see it's getting added over here. But my body has some margin and padding. So I'll make sure that I set the margin to zero and padding to zero on my body. And uh, the next thing I want to make sure that is fixed is my site navigation. Right? So I would like to give it a position absolute. And you can see that I've started with the mobile version first. And then I will use media queries to build the uh, in the tablet view and also the uh, desktop view. So position absolute would like to give it a width of 100%. To give it a background color of maybe I don't know maybe 666 and then I would like to give it the height which I would like to cover the whole viewport which is 100 VH. So viewport height. So you can see that it covered. But the problem here is that because of the order of the elements that I have in my index that I see, which is first the header and then site nav view, uh, navigation, I have to make sure that I define a Z index for the header, which is higher than my navigation, right? So let's give it a four and then make sure that the Z index here is actually three, right? 
so you can see the header. Then, of course, because of the positioning, I need to give some sort of padding to my Z so that it, uh, to my uh, side navigation so that it comes down. I'll give it a padding top of 44 pixels, right? Looks good. So we have our header, we have our, uh, you know, element as well. You can see that, you know, when I added this padding, you can see that the page scrolls. That I don't want. In order to fix that, I would like to reset all of my elements and set the border box sizing to border border box, right? And now you can see that I don't have any sort of scroll. The reason is that when you set the box sizing on all your elements to be border box, the padding gets included into the height. So the padding that I've defined over here, which is 44 pixel, is actually within the height of my element, which is pretty nice, right? And now, what I would like to do is to style these guys. So I know that I have, in my side nav, I have a UL element. I will get rid of the bullet points over here. So list style none. They are getting removed, as you can see. And then I want to set the padding to zero and also margin to zero. And then what I would do is I would you know, set my allies to have a padding of maybe 10 pixel, uh, you know, top and bottom, and then 10 pixel, maybe 20 pixel top and bottom, and then 10 pixel left and right, right, as you can see. Now to change the color, I have my A element within each li. I would like to give it a color of maybe white, and also I would like to make sure that the text decoration is not. So I don't want to have the underlines, right? Wow, looks good. So the next step is I want to change these icons to have a separate color. So maybe some more contrast would look nice. So I have my LI, A, and then, you know, I have my I element. And then I would give it a color of maybe 3, 3, 3. All right, looks, looks much better. So one of the things I want to mention is that you necessarily don't need to add all of these, you know, chained based on the order of the elements you have. If you know that you're going to have in, in your LI, you're going to have only one eye, or actually there is just one eye you want to sort of uh, style, you don't need to add all of these, you know, elements in between here, right? So if I basically remove the A, it still works. If I remove this one, it still works, but just for the better sort of, you know, you want to make sure that you can, this code is actually readable. So you add it like this. All right, pretty cool. So I have, what I would like to add here is on my LIs, I would give a border bottom of maybe, I don't know, like maybe AAA. Maybe it's not really good, maybe 333, three, three. border bottom, sorry, one pixel, solid, 333, three, three. give it a little bit of, you know, division over here. All right, so the next step is to, you know, change this menu in the tablet version, right? And for that, I'm going to define some media queries, or one media query, actually. So media, and I want it for my screen. And any screens and also and I would like to set the mean width of let's say 600 pixel uh, and then I would like to change the style of my elements so this basically says that anything that is like above uh, you know the width of 600 pixel the style should be like this so first things first side nav I want my side nav instead of 100 with 100% 100 I want the width to be maybe I don't know, 50 pixel, right? Let's see how it looks. Uh, let's see if I wrote everything correct. I have my side nav, uh, screen and mean width, 600 pixels. I want my side nav to be, yeah, looks to be correct. Uh, so let's see why it doesn't change. Side nav, width, 100 pixel, side nav, uh, media, screen, and the side name with 50 pixel. Supposedly it should work. Media. Okay, I haven't closed this guy over here. 
All right, now you can see that. And also, what I would like to do is that maybe maybe, maybe this is a little bit small. I would like to make it maybe 80%, right? All right. Also, I would like to get rid of these labels. So what I do is that do my side nav. I have my UI, LI, and my, as you can see in the index, each LI contains an A, and each A has two spans, right? I want to get rid of the second one. So what I would do is that I would do span but nth child second, not the first but the second. I'll set the display to none, right? You can see that they are all removed. The other thing that I would like to do is actually make sure that my uh, icons are a little bit bigger, right? I'll do I, maybe font size, something like 26 pixel. See how it looks? Maybe even side nav, sorry, side nav. And yeah, they're pretty good, but unfortunately they are not centered. In order to center them, I have to center the alignment of the text inside my LIs. So do side nav, U, L, L, I, and then text align, uh, sort of center, right? You know, Okay, it's pretty cool now. So as you can see, if I resize, it's like this. And then if I go to tablet, it looks something like this, right? And then I'll go ahead for the desktop version. I need to add another media query. So media screen and mean width, uh, maybe you know, 1,000 pixels, assuming that this is like the minimum width on the screens on, on desktop uh, on desktops so this time I would like my side nav to have a width of maybe 200 pixel right so if I move over let's see if I have created it correct mean width or even spell you can see that it's correctly uh, you know set the width to 200 pixel but then you can see that I centered the text. What I would like to do is make sure that, you know, I want to make sure that the text align gets back to left. And then also, I would like to make sure that I will bring back my second uh, span, which is the label. So I would like to say display. If I do block, what happens is that it comes down. But if I do like inline, it will be the original one, right? I want to make sure that my icons are a little bit smaller. So I would do side nav, my unordered list, and then my I. I want to make sure that the font size goes back to 40 pixels and maybe even bigger. You know, it's all what you want to make. All right, so as you saw, this is our mobile version this is our desktop version and this is uh, this is our tablet version and this is our desktop version the last thing i want to know i mean you can go you guys can go ahead on the website and download the source code and see it uh, but the last thing i want to show you is how you can basically because we have main content as well over here we want to make sure that the main content shows up correctly because we've changed uh, the width of the nav bar a lot over here. So for the main, before the media queries, I have my main content. I want to make sure since, you know, this is positioned uh, absolute, I want to make sure that my main content actually has a padding top of the height of the header, right? As you can see, so it came down. But also, I mean, if you look at this here, you know, you see that it's not correctly aligned because we have set the width over here 80%. So what I would like to do in my first media query for the tablet, I want to make sure that my main content has a margin left of 80 pixel, which is the width of my navigation, so that you can see that it correctly aligns. And then for the desktop version as well, I would like to do that and set the margin left to 200 pixel, you know, the height, the, the width that I defined over here. And then if I go over and make it bigger, you can see that it actually aligns pretty good. All right, so again, 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel also go to kotos.com view the tutorials that have been added go to this this one the, the last or the first one don't forget to like these and then you can pretty much show the demo of it and you can go ahead and download here gets downloaded for you go ahead and take a look at the you know the CSS the you know JavaScript uh, a lot of bunch of other things that you can see uh, you can see that I've already added all the styles so everything is set uh, I wish that you like this tutorial and please help me doing these things you know uh, I really like to teach people uh, my humble knowledge that I acquired during the past 10 years so alright thank you very much have a good day and night and see you next time